And so as Muslims, we know that if we don't have reverence and love and respect for the messenger of Allah, then Allah will cause our hearts to swerve away from the truth. And the main affair of this religion is love for the messenger of Allah. This is what was the difference between the companions of Moses, alayhi salatu wa salam, and the companions of the prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam. The prophet's companions, they loved and revered the messenger of Allah. Where Moses' companions, they used to be troublesome to him worrisome to him they would they would slander him they said he had leprosy they said man you know why he covers up you know the messengers they were all very shy so sometimes you'll see somebody you'll see them dressed in a certain way and you think he must be dressed like that because, you know, he or she, they don't want to reveal. They must have something that they hiding because they don't look right. So Moses' people said, oh, he got leprosy. That's why he always covered like that. And one time he was bathing, and Allah made his clothes get up and run. And he had to get out of the, the lake where he was bathing and chased his clothes down the stove. And then they was like, man, this dude ain't got leprosy. That, this dude is actually fit. He's like a fit shake. Now, sometimes the shake come through, and they you be like, this shake is buff. The messenger of Allah, Moses, and all of the messengers... They had a goodly appearance. They didn't look like, you know, like they had leprosy, something like that. That wasn't their state. And so to prove this, Allah made a miracle. He made Moses' clothes walk on their own. So that the people could see what we've been saying about Moses is obvious lies and the one thing is American Muslims we should identify with Moses because Egypt was the America of the day of Moses